Good morning and welcome to our act of remembrance. Whilst we gather in an unusual manner, we come together nonetheless to remember those who've lost their lives and those who have suffered through conflicts past and present. This year, during our act of remembrance, members of our combined cadet force will build a drumhead altar in chapel. This tradition dates back several centuries. Shortly before battle, soldiers sought to gather for prayer and in the absence of a chapel altar around which to meet, the regimental drums were laid together. As we gather today, in many places around the school and further afield, may I invite you to join with me in this act of remembrance. And in our time of silence, let us pledge ourselves afresh to work for peace, reconciliation, and justice in the world of today. We keep a moment of quiet. We meet in the presence of God. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may together live in freedom, justice, and peace. We pray for all who, in bereavement, disability, and pain, continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives, in world wars and conflicts, past and present, have been given and taken away. Our reading this morning is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 15. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I'm giving you these commands so that you may love one another. Thanks be to God.
They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We, we will, will remember, remember them. them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today.
As we gather, let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, from whose love in Christ we cannot be parted, either by death or life, hear our prayers and thanksgivings for all whom we remember this day. Fulfill in them the purpose of your love and bring us all with them to your eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish and those whose names we will never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honour the past, may we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.